Lamont and Tonelli. Let's go to our other line here and talk to the great Mr. Skin from MrSkin.com. Skin, how you doing, bro? Doing great. I had the honor of talking to baby Huey off the air. I was just wondering, is he taking a limo into work now? He's kind of a big shot over <laughs> oh there. Oh, my ah, goodness. I mean, here, he, the, here's the man with a list of job titles that are the length of his arm. It's crazy. <laughs> he, he needs two business cards stapled together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Skin, I understand you've got some big doings going on to Mr. Skin this week. Well, yeah, always. We're, you know, um, as you get close to Halloween, you'll see things like what we have on the front page of our site, like our, our best monster human sex scenes playlist, which is very always very oh fun for the whole family. You want to check that out. And uh, as we get closer, we're a couple weeks away. We'll have more and more uh, Halloween stuff for you guys. But, I'm yeah, you don't want to miss of... our, our best. That's monster human sex scene. I am just kind of curious, out of all the monster human sex scenes, what sex scene to you is the number one monster human sex scene? Well, you've never heard of the movie, but there's a movie called Untamed, where Ruth Ramos is with this very realistic, it, it's almost like she's having sex with this, he's like an octopus, kind of a, this weird monster. <laughs> an but octopus, then, um, yeah. Yeah, but then this Lovecraft Country, which was a kind of popular show on HBO for a little while, uh, Jamie Chung uh, and this guy had sex where like tentacles came out of his eyes and went in the... To different parts of her body, so you gotta, oh. you know, check that out. But there's, there's many more. We, we, we got all the best through history, so you, you can't go wrong. Are the best monster human sex scene. So, um, but I did want to mention, speaking of Halloween stuff, um, that Halloween Kills came out this weekend, and it did. This is a like the latest chapter in the Michael Myers horror cycle, and. Um, it actually it did fifty million at the box office, meaning in theaters, which is pretty incredible when you can, you know, consider people aren't really like locked into going back to theaters so much. And it was also available to stream, so you could have watched it at home. So fifty million is pretty darn good. Um, the one thing I was going to say: Have you seen the ads for it? Um, Jamie Lee Curtis is in the movie, but. You know, she's only like 61 maybe, but her hair is like completely gray. It's kind of weird. Do you, do you know what I'm talking I about? Have have you seen, seen her? I have seen yeah. her lately, and she is completely gray. And yeah. I'm just, I'm just kind of curious, has there been any nude scenes with her being completely gray? Does no. The, do you think the carpet matches the drapes? <laughs> no, no, there has not. I mean, it's or hard when you... is it hardwood floors? Oh yeah, well, it's, it's hard when you... Um, uh, you know, are used to seeing her in trading pay, uh, places, you know, and, and like, you, you know, you see that scene and then you see, you go to Halloween Kills and she looks like, you know, the, the grandma of the girl in trading places, which is kind of weird. But um, yeah, because she's, I, I, I want to say she's only like 61. She, I'm, I might be off by a couple of years, but yeah, she's, I think she's 62. Um, Oh, is she? Okay. Yeah. But still, she shouldn't be completely great. But anyway, she's not nude in uh, Halloween Kills, but it did $50 million. Uh, go see Trading Places, uh, uh, especially <laughs> at the, uh, uh, at the, uh, at the uh, one-hour mark. You, you will not go wrong. But the, uh, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, you might have saw ads for that um, The Last Duel, which had Matt Damon and yes. Ben Affleck and Adam Driver. Like, there was a ton of ads. Ridley Scott directed it, and um, it did $4.8 million. Like I think that was what they paid for their you know their lunch for the ads yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> for the ad. I mean it's like I I, I mean that's horrible like I I don't know what, how much money this movie's going to lose but there's a female lead in that named Jody Comer who was the one girl they showed in the ads um, she's not nude in the last duel but check out a movie called Thirteen she did in 2016 you could see her nude and uh, last but not least I wanted to mention it's the 25th anniversary this week of a legendary movie called Bound. It came out in 1996. Um, G. 
Gina Gershon and Jennifer Tilly uh, joined the Mr. Skin Hall of Fame for this scene they had. Really? Uh, 18 minutes in. It is the when people ask me what are the greatest girl girl scenes in movie history, I always have this scene in my top five, and uh, it's uh, 25 years old this week. And uh, one of the greats of all time, Bound, Jennifer Tilly and Gina Gershon. Now, and before we leave here, Skin, I'm going to give you credit because the number one movie at Hulu is your yes. your documentary. Is that right? Yes, it still is. And we um, and it came out on Hulu in November of last year, so it's o- almost been a year. And it's really cool. Like when I go to the website just to double check, yeah. It's, always like in the number one and it's not even like the number one documentary it's the number one movie right. it's pretty cool it's Which called only skin. Means I, I, I sold it to them for a lot less than i should have <laughs> damn it. yeah. it's skin the history of nudity in the movies and it's really really good and if you get a chance to check it out on hulu do so the number one movie at Hulu, Mr. Yeah, Skin. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Incredible. Pretty incredible. All right, Skin, yeah. uh, talk to you next week. Uh, love talking to you. You got it, guys. All right, the great Mr. Skin, MrSkin.com, number one on Hulu. Is that crazy? That is know, awesome. Right? Good for him. Skin, right? Yeah. He, like he said, he should have sold it to them for a lot more. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Lamont and Tonelli.